Tonight, we're talking Werner von Braun, the firmament, and Nazis. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Are you ready? your favorite rapper's favorite podcast. See, this is why I like your show. You guys charismatic, you know the right things to say. Welcome to the break room. Coming to you live every Saturday night from Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and the website, TalkingJunkNetwork.com. If you haven't went to check that out, go check that out. Go to every uh, place we just said here and hit that subscribe button. Did you say Make Spotify? Sure you... Spotify is right down here at the bottom of the screen with the Apple Pod, the Google Pod, and wherever else. We're good evening. What's up, sunshine? All the oh, links yeah. are up on top on the website, so you can get all of those there. We're we going to take Joe Rogan's spot soon because they get him out of here. Yeah. I mean, we're already world famous, no matter how you put it in perspective. We're, we're listened to all over the world, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. I can't wait. We'll, I can't wait either. We'll be there soon, <laughs> so, even if it's not on Spotify. Someone's going to know about us somewhere else. Yes, yes, they will. Just like everybody in the world should know about this guy we're talking about tonight. Who are we talking about tonight? Werner von Braun. Ooh, say that ten times fast. Werner <laughs> von Braun. Werner von Braun. Werner von Braun. Werner von Braun. Werner von Braun. Sound like you're taking off on a Ducati. Probably. <laughs> no, Ducatis do sound sleek like that. What's up, Alyssa? Well, now, hey. how, did y'all hear about this guy before this episode? Before we brought this shit up? Yeah. Yeah. I'm no. not going to lie. I didn't. I didn't hear about him until I heard about him on a TikTok. I didn't hear about him. TikTok be educating you nowadays. But this guy has a lot of ties to Nazi Germany. <laughs> no, he was a Nazi. <laughs> he oh, he was definitely tie. was. He was a fucking Nazi. He was definitely a Nazi. He was. Uh, he's one of the godfathers of rocket science. He's probably one of the main reasons why everybody has gotten to the moon right now. Mm -hmm. uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> probably more. Probably more than just that. Gross. Probably more than just that. We'll, we'll get into the conspiracies because there's a lot. And if you haven't listened to the episode, you are going to want to listen to the episode in the archives after this that we did on Project High Jump. It's, it's definitely going to tie into this in some form or fashion. What's up, Nicole? But let's get into it. Werner von Braun. Born on March 23rd, 1912, in Wersich, Germany. Well, it's Poland now. He died June 16th, 1977, in Alexandria, Virginia. How quaint. Mm. <laughs> German, he's a German engineer who uh, played a prominent role in all aspects of rocketry and space exploration, first in Germany and afterward uh, in World War, after World War II in the United States. We're reading from the Britannica this, uh, this episode, by the way. We're going to take you in between his whole life from the start to the finish, and we're going to fill in the conspiracy theories what? along the way. Who's this? Hydro hose? What the fuck did that say? <laughs> you see everything. It all breaks down in front of you. The essence, the air itself, a complex design pulled into the void. You gain momentum, locked forward, only slowing to what seems. <laughs> to what seems what? There's, there's, there's more. There's going to be Hydro more. Hose, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow. All right. While we wait for that, we'll get on with his early life. His early life. Let's see. Oh, I feel like I can't hear myself. Hello. Hello. Definitely better there. All right. So, 
Bron was born into a prosperous, aristocrat. 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 There you go. <laughs> Starting it off very early tonight. <laughs> All right. His mother encouraged young Borner's curiosity by giving him a telescope upon his confirmation in the Lutheran Church. Braun's early interest in astronomy and the realm of space never left him. Therefore, in 1920, his family moved to the seat of government in Berlin. He did not do well in... <laughs> Them the cats from Disney. No, you're right. You're right, Adam. You're right. Your mom, see, that's what I thought at first. <coughs> the the Aristocats is what I thought, too. Stay tuned for that live action coming from Disney. They owe me money now. Um, <laughs> he didn't do well in school, particularly in physics and math. Uh, a turning point in his life occurred in 1925. And you would think that physics and math would be his strong suit since he was a fucking rocket scientist. But anyway... <laughs> A turning point in his life occurred in 1925 uh, when he acquired a copy of Die Rat. I, let me let me let me just let you guys know right now. Some of these things are going to be in German, and I am going to butcher the fuck out of everything just to let y'all know. So just just we bear with me. Sure. I'll just read the uh, in the uh, translation. It translates to the rocket into the interplanetary space by a rocket pioneer, Herman Obrath. Frustrated by his inability to understand the mathematics, hey, hey, hey. he applied himself at school until he led his class. In the spring of 1930, while enrolled in uh, the Berlin Institute of Technology, Braun joined the German Society for Space Travel. In, this, in his spare time, he uh, assisted Obrath in liquid-fueled rocket motor tests. In 1932, he graduated from the Technical Institute with a BS degree, a bullshit degree, in mechanical engineering and entered the University of Berlin. By the fall of 1932, the Rocket Society was experiencing grave financial difficulties. At the time, Captain Walter R. Dornberg, uh, later Major General, was in charge of solid fuel rocket research and development in the Ordnance Department of Germany's 100,000 man armed forces. He recognized the military uh, potential of liquid fueled rockets and the ability of Braun. Dornberg arranged a research grant from the Ordnance Department for Braun, who then did research at a small development station that was set up adjacent to Dornberg's uh, existing uh, solid fuel rocket test facility, excuse me, at the Kammerdorf Army Proving Grounds near Berlin. Two years later, Braun received a PhD in physics from the University of Berlin. His thesis, which for reasons of military security, bore the nondescript title about combustion tests, <laughs> contained theoretical investigation and de developmental experiments in 300 and 660 pound thrust rocket engines. I missed all those comments because I was reading. It's all right. Oh, you were okay. good. It was flowing. Yeah, yeah, you, you're good. You, let's not interrupt your reading. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. You, you're doing good, though. Yeah. Hooked on Phonics came back out, so I subscribed, mm. and now I'm reading a little better. You know they have a mobile app now, right? I'm yeah, man. I know. That's how, that's why I'm reading better. Everything's don't technology now. You know, we want to be on technology. We don't want to read those fucking books. We're the books. By December 1934, when Germany was ruled by dictator Adolf Hitler, Braun's group, which was included one additional engineer and three mechanics, had successfully inclu uh, included, wait, I read that already, had successfully launched two rockets that rose vertically to more than 1.5 miles. Uh, by this time, there was no longer a German rocket society. Rocket tests had been forbidden by decree, and the only way open to such research was through the military forces. Now, it was said that it might have been around this time when they launched those rockets 
that they pushed their technology to the brink and they actually made it to the moon first the first people this is like i said a conspiracy theory there's it was said that the nazis were the first group of people on the moon and till this day on the dark side of the moon they have a secret base on the moon and some See, other that's what i heard about when i first you know look more into this and you know a little bit more research it's it's weird because i hear you heard that a couple of times throughout history but it's just it's a, it's a lot of stories and that's what that's what makes it interesting though because it makes you want like go check it out if we were able to how the fuck are you gonna check it out Shut up! That's the whole point of it. Like, <laughs> yeah. you can't it check a, it out. So you, you know, it's called it Wonderman. Talk about the uh, the moon base. I think they made right? movies yeah, about yeah, the yeah, moon base. About the moon base. They made. There's movies about that. I think yeah, there's T Rexes in that shit too. A T Rex or Raptors, maybe something like that. I think it's a. It's I know. Weird. I know what you're like, talking about. Nazi. The conspiracy the Nazis actually won. Yes, that's the conspiracy I'm talking about. It's not really a conspiracy, but well, it's more of a after, point of view. That conspiracy comes after, after, and I think that one's called the Third Reich. Yeah, no, no that was, yeah. about that. It may show. <laughs> so yeah, well, welcome, welcome, sir, Talon, coming in through the back door unannounced. Why, why, why are you always so sexy? Why, why you, why you? What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I make you blush when I said you came in through the back door? I mean, I wouldn't do it unannounced. That's the thing. I definitely was, said put me. Wait, in. why did you make that sexual? He said coming in through the back door unannounced. Why did you make that? You didn't have to make that so sexual. Awkward. Where did you get that ice cream from you was eating? Walmart. <laughs> Actually, did I even have it? Because it's said to be a myth. So what? did I even have it? No, that ice, cream, be ice cream. That ice cream is definitely real. Yeah, it's real. It's real. LOL. The, honey, LOL. the honey bun one is a little too much, if you ask me. Like mad cinnamon for no reason, because when you buy instead of honey bun, you don't taste that much cinnamon. They all good. It's for all the years you didn't get cinnamon. They but it has pieces cinnamon. of like frozen honey bun on it, so it's good. The Swiss roll could have a little more fucking cream in it. It's, it's just like chocolate ice cream. Mm. Strawberry one's okay. The best one would be the oatmeal cream pie if they put more pieces of oatmeal in there. But anyway, since the test grounds near Berlin had became too small, a large military development facility was erected at the village of Penemund. 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 Anyway, it's in northern ger <laughs> northeastern Germany. I'm pretty sure that you with those two dots on it is pronounced a different way. I'm pretty sure they pronounce all of that shit a different way. Anyway, it's uh it's on the Baltic Sea. With Doran Berger as the military commander and Braun as the tech, uh, technical director, liquid-fueled rocket aircraft and jet-assessed takeoffs were successfully demonstrated, and the long-range ballistic missile A-4 and the sub supersonic anti-aircraft missile Westerfall were developed. The A-4 was designated by the propaganda ministry as V-2, meaning Vengeance Weapon 2. By 1944, the level of technology of the rockets and missiles being tested at the Penandu was more uh, many years ahead of th that available in the other countries, which is why they said at this time is when the Nazis started making their own UFOs. Now he's... Not, I'm gonna I'm gonna go off on a little tangent real quick, and I'm gonna go straight to Wikipedia. Hello. Hey, how are you there? We What's love up? having you every every week, and tonight you're gonna learn something there, little fella. And maybe, maybe, just start turning in every Saturday. Start there. You'll believe a little bit of uh. Conspiracies. Let's be let's be a little bit clear right now. These were conspiracies ten fucking years ago. 
Well, these, these are, conspiracy. are not conspiracies. These are things that people don't want to verify to be the truth for themselves, and so it stays as conspiracy because nobody actually wants to find out that shit is not cool. <laughs> True. So, so you Werner von Braun helped America, and he was a Nazi. That, but they that, won't. That, they that, they that, don't that, paint it like that at all. Not that do part. You, do you believe mm. the Third Reich? is true the third reich happened the fourth reich is the idea and i think the fourth reich is essentially the u.s corporation we live in yeah that's what happened when we weren't paying attention or they they were working on no, a secret it, it is happening all well, right happening. little man have a great night sweet dreams don't let those bed bugs bite and don't always remember you can control your dreams yes and don't be hiding anything in your closets because if you even know <laughs> Adam, let us introduce you to our thank you, Adam. Appreciate it. Resident Thanks for checking us out. Talon. Mm -hmm. So Talon. Where was I there? Mm. The V2 Rockets. It wasn't there. No, I wasn't. I was reading about the Nazi UFOs, if I'm not mistaken. About to. Uh, this is from Wikipedia. So you know, everybody could uh Type, type, type on Wikipedia, so you always got to take it with a grain of salt. But in UFOlogy, conspiracy theory, science fiction, and comic book stories, comic book stories, mm -hmm. claims or stories have circulated linking UFOs. Marvel comics. Back when they were doing like Genesis comics and shit from the Bible, they were probably doing this too. It's probably DC. Hmm. DC be saying some real shit. Love you too. It might have been one or the other because honestly, they used to dip out and do like <laughs> real life comic things like this and stuff like that too back in the day. True. Especially like people like Tesla and shit. They look like he was a Superman villain at one point, so it would make sense. Nikolai to Tesla? Like comics. Yeah. No, I, I just recently, and I know for a fact that one day we're going to do an episode on him because I, when might I first. Have to do two. Yeah. I have to do three. There, there's a lot. The so Manhattan Tesla. Project owns its own fucking episode. I'm telling you. Tesla was like really three. heavy with that. That's more of an Oppenheimer thing. It's but because either way, he his physics is deeply involved in a lot of things in this country. So Nikola Tesla is a big topic. Yeah, and that's the. I'm sorry for the forefathers, but that's the episode where you're going to hear a lot of fuck Benjamin Franklin, but. <laughs> Um, but Thomas Jefferson. Yes, no. Thomas Jefferson. No, no, I'm sorry. No, Thomas no, Edison. 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 Yes. Excuse Con me. Edison. Edison. You're right. You know, all those, all those old white men are all the same anyway. Um, they they come from the same. They're cut from the same white claw. Yeah, they all have the same wigs. <laughs> Powdered ass wigs. Was that? Why was that cocaine? Tasty ass <laughs> skin. They, they be powdering their face more than the women. Um. It depends on what you mean by time travel, Alyssa. Because wait, wait, what you said? Just bro, I believe time travel. Well, Sterling, I, I if, think if you go on YouTube right now and look up one of those Mike Tyson fights, you'll you'll see the answer to that. What? What's you, happening? You never today? seen the smartphone that was recording uh, that Mike Tyson fight back in the nineties when there was no smartphones. I haven't no, seen no, that no. One, There's those oh, yeah. I saw the one with the old lady and stuff like that in like the 1900s and the dude that looks like he's dressed completely out of style for the time. You're talking about the one in the movie where she came on screen on the on camera and didn't know that. Yeah. She, yeah. I think it was um what's his name? Uh fuck. I feel like I have to read all his all his stuff like this. Who's the famous vaudeville guy back in the early 1900s? Charlie Chaplin. There you go. It was a Charlie Chaplin movie. The chaos started when the vents started. I scaled the door. Sealed. <laughs> well, whatever. Fuck. I sealed the door. Instinctively, there was two people struggling to get in. Once I realized they weren't turning, I let them in. But they had it. They had a baby. I didn't see. What are you talking about? Are you are you like writing fan fiction on here right now? I mean, mm -hmm. hey, cool. I guess. I think I think you're it right, like right in the process of him thinking it. Hey, you know what? Keep on writing it, bro. We, we got to read it out. 
Hell yeah, maybe we'll feature you on your own episode where you can read it to us and we're like, or or you can script it out and we'll reenact that shit like the old days when all the motherfuckers got all the people in the what was it like the fifties and sixties scared that they were taking over the world from aliens in uh talking about War of the World HG yeah, the HG Well shit when they put it over the radio. It, you know, as dumb as it seems to think that you could fool America like that. You quite clearly like that's literally what we're doing all the time right now is fucking <laughs> just <laughs> deceiving America like that all the time. It's like that was just a test run. It's like, well, that fucking worked. Like, let's keep this going. <laughs> just don't tell them. Well, remember, well, remember how they were out. training kids to duck and cover under a fucking desk for a nuclear bomb? <laughs> <laughs> They convinced people, duck and cover, duck and cover. Because the, the it was way part of a dream I wrote was. about with Hitler in it. Wow. You're not the only one that had crazy dreams with Hitlers, because somebody that writes movies had a crazy ass dream with Hitler, and it was called The Man That Killed Hitler and Bigfoot. It's a I've movie. seen that movie on pop up on Hulu, and I've I, apparently it's a good movie. But I, I just, I'm like, I don't know if I really want to see it's, that. It sounds like a sci-fi movie that gets pulled off. It's an okay, it's an okay low budget movie just because of the person that's playing the main character. Because he's usually like, he's usually like a fucking supporting actor. Or something. Yeah, but he, he's solid though. Mm -hmm. I might solid. have to check that out. He's solid, just like the German UFO theories describe supposedly successful attempts to develop. Uh, advanced aircraft or spacecrafts prior to or during the uh, World War II. Further assessing the post-war survival of these crafts in secret underground bases in Antarctica, where we'll take another little tangent and go back to uh, Project High Jump. Where, Pro Project uh, High Jump is an episode itself. We should just kind of tap on that. We already did one. Uh, we did, didn't we? Yeah, we did. It's in the it was archive. one of the first ones we did. I would say, yeah, we you were definitely here for that. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah now as, as I started talking about it, I was like, you know, we talked about High Jump. Y'all should go listen to that. But uh, Y'all should it, still it, go listen to that after this one. It's on the website. It's under the banner called Archives. Go right in there and listen to it. Wow, it made it, it, made it easy for you. Very but, easy. Uh, damn. Now, these uh, underground bases in Antarctica stem from the war where it was said that the Germans were really good at crafting hidden underground bases. And Project High Jump, uh, I think his name was William E. Bird. He was yeah, Admiral, Admiral Bird. Admiral yeah, Bird. Admiral Bird. He, he went to Antarctica um, in some planes and did some reconnaissance. And he well, ended up. He went with like a fleet, though. Yeah, he did. Uh, like, it, it wasn't was a, like just a, a scout uh, ship. It was a whole fleet that went to Antarctica. Yeah, take, tanks, planes, and everything. He went over there to to have a, like a six month expedition, and it wound up lasting six weeks. Six weeks or six days? Very, very, uh, very much shorter than what it was supposed to. And it was dun, what, dun, dun. it was because what he supposedly had found, <clears throat> and he was said to have broken through the firmament yes i just one, one part of whoa whoa wait what that's you mean the no. butter wall yes yeah. yes i know i know it's only one part and it's the ice wall but do you guys even know what the firmament is well just to, to backpedal there, the idea with Bird is that he went into the Earth, or at least that's what he perceived to have happened. Because um, that's where that's like the main crux, well, one of the main cruxes outside of like uh, some other lores and whatnot of Hollow Earth theory or Agartha. And or wouldn't it call it? Wouldn't it be the way to break through the firmament? Well, see that that's something that I've wondered myself is if hollow earth and the whole flat earth idea are the same thing and what we perceive to be going in is really just going out. Right. However, just for the sake of what was reported in the story, or if you go back in the archives, we're talking about hollow earth specifically in that, not the firmament. However, after listening to that, 
maybe coming back to this one, you might be able to translate the two ideas to each other and be like, hmm, maybe it is just the firmament that they went through. Now, forgive me because I didn't take down this guy's um, TikTok screen name to know who he was, but we'll let him describe the firmament in a religious aspect. Slap, part three. If you don't believe what I'm saying, check out these Bible verses and prove it through scripture. The Bible is 100% true and everything in it is literal. When they're speaking in metaphor, they let you know. Today we're going to talk about the firmament. Genesis chapter 1 verses 6 through 8. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. Let it divide the waters from the water. Look above you guys. That sky is water. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. And in other translations, plainer English, it's sky. We also have Job chapter 37, verses 16 and 18. They describe the firmament as a cast metal mirror. Ezekiel chapter 1, the likeness of the firmament above the heads of the living creatures like the color of an awesome crystal stretched out over their heads. So the English firmament or expanse comes from the Hebrew word rakia. As we see here, flat expanse as if a vice. Also the vault of heaven or firmament regarded by Hebrews as solid and supporting waters above it. Firmament, you heard of it? Firmament, you heard of it? Now you have. So in the light of conspiracy and balance of power, they have to tell us what will happen. Uh, odd how now we see hollow earth being brought to light in modern cinema. I mean, it's always been in uh, pop culture because it's been in books and everything before. It was in TV shows. It was in movies. It was in everything. Everything. Because I still remember... Uh, a show, and I can't remember the name of it. Is I believe it was Land of the Lost, and they went through like this shit, and they ended up in Hollow Earth, where there was now dinosaurs and all of this shit. Yeah, that's Land of the Lost. It's funny though, because like they're saying, more recently though, like with God versus Godzilla versus Kong. The whole hollow earth aspect of it was kind of out of nowhere. I appreciated it though because I love that conspiracy idea <laughs> of hollow earth. But uh, yeah, it, they definitely, there's a lot of stuff that was once conspiracy now becoming just like mainstream plot lines. And on one hand, you could just say, well, you know, they're just borrowing from stuff that's there because it can make for a good movie. And then there's also no. They're, they have to kind of like say what they're doing or what's the truth without actually saying it's the truth. And considering so many movies fucking suck or just aren't as great as we would want them to be, um, I'm going to say it's the latter. Don't forget Von Braun has um, a Bible verse on his tombstone. Oh, yes. On the we, will, we will definitely get there once he dies. Well, he's Almost. dead, so we. Can well, no, he's, oh, no, no, he's no, going no, through a timeline. So, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, now nah, we got. I, I got you. I'm, I'm there with you, though. Facts, Adam. It's kind yeah, of ridiculous, this, especially this, after this, these last two years. Look, we've. we've so, I've been saying for a little while, and I've been trying to keep it as my mantra, that there are no coincidences in life. Yeah. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Every experience is earned one way or the other. Word. Nothing doesn't happen for a reason, and you're not there to not experience something. Something happens. Also, when a tree falls in a forest and nobody's around to hear it, it farts. Just want to put that out there. It definitely, definitely farts. Definitely. Yeah. A noise is definitely made. You're not close enough to hear it. No, but like a fart, not just any noise. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. like it sounds like there's cheeks. <laughs> I saw a TikTok. I couldn't say it, but I saw a TikTok, and I'm pretty sure it was legit. TikTok is all legit, obviously. <laughs> Most of it, <laughs> like nine, Most like ninety eight percent is believable. <laughs> the parts paid in gold. Paths, gold. nigga. The past paid. You need to go do that hooked on monkey phonics, my guy. <laughs> no, no, for no. real. I, I need to re-wet my contacts or dry. Hey, uh, damn, uh, I can see it. The past paid in gold. The old tales say nobody knows where they go to this day. 
I'll tell you where they won't go if it's paved in gold to the Rothschilds because only a golden path is going to go somewhere good. That'd be hell. So maybe follow the, I don't know, the Onyx Brick Road. Mm -mm. Hold on, pal. Just All right, where were we? Because no, we went off on a couple of tangents. So coming yeah. back from the, the firmament tangent, we go back to the hollow earth tangent and then come back from that and go back to the Nazi bunkers of Antarctica. We're at the Von Braun timeline. I thought we were at the not Nazi bunkers and then I mean, we were, we're, at, we're still we were at in this timeline. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, well, yeah, they're like right next to each other. So whatever. Yeah. Goddamn. All right, so we'll 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 stay on that. Ooh, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. You want to stay on that whole tangent? I was say it, reading his whole life is going to take forever. So it's not just, really. Like, on the, the Britannica, the we're already in the United States. So go with that one. All right. So I guess if you guys want, we should probably I, go to Operation Paperclip after that. I think maybe that should have its own episode, no? I guess, but it's still pertinent to this story. Okay. Let's get it. Ooh, paperback? No, not paperback, paper clip. <laughs> Operation paperback. That's that's something completely different. <laughs> <laughs> well, that has to do... What the fuck is that? Something got big-ass fireworks or did World War Three start? That's exactly mm -hmm. where we are now. Huh? That's exactly where we are now. Where? where? Life. Operation Paperclip. It was a secret United States intelligence program in which more than yeah. 1,600 yeah, that. German scientists engineers and technicians were taken from former Nazi Germany to the U.S. for government employment after the end of World War II in Europe between 1945 and 1959. Now, that's when Von Braun went to uh, the U.S. And I want to read it before I say what he was. But where the fuck is it? Back up, back up, back up, back up, right there. Braun always recognized the value of the work of the American rocket pioneer, uh, Robert H. Goddard. Until 1936, said Braun, Goddard was ahead of all of us, uh, of us all. At the end of World War II, Braun, his younger brother, Magnus, uh, Dornberger, and the entire German rocket development team surrendered to U.S. troops. Within a few months, Braun and about 100 members of his group were at the U.S. Army Ordnance Corps test site at White Sands, New Mexico, where they tested, assembled, and supervised the launching of captured V-2s for high-altitude research purposes. Now, they said everybody, and it wasn't everybody because some people defected without going to the, the uh, NASA, which what became the early days, which what became NASA. And there was one guy who was said to fucking just disappear. Some people think he actually went to Antarctica and started all of that shit over there. That's crazy. I forgot the, reason why the, North, the story of the North Wall exists. No, 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 no. That's uh, E. Bird. Bird is the reason why that story exists. I know. Where was I? White says New Mexico. Good old Larry Bird. Larry Bird. All right. Developmental studies were made of advanced ramjet and rocket missiles. At the end of the war, the United States had entered the field of guided missiles with uh, practically no previous experience. The technical competence of Braun's group was outstanding. After all, he said, if we are good, it's because we've had 15 more years of experience in making mistakes and learning from them. Mm -hmm. So they were 15 years ahead of the United States before they defected. So you really think that these fucking conspiracy theories are far-fetched? Because I don't. Not at this point. There's no way. They had to have pushed the limits to their fucking technology and have done shit that we're scared to even say. The, which yeah, is, the good conspiracy is how do they get that technology and where do they get it from? 
that's the good stuff. Oh, or, from the from the aliens. It gets a little deeper than that, but okay. Aliens is easy when people say, "Well, the pyramids are built by aliens." Like that's 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 simple. We need to get into a, a episode of alien races. Yeah, definitely. Because I mean, <laughs> like <laughs> racist aliens. I don't know. Yeah, right? I don't know. <laughs> alien races. So you mean like, you mean like non-Americans? <laughs> like non-planet <laughs> Earthens. Illegal aliens? Is that what you're trying to say? You trying Illegal to Earthlings. <laughs> no, no, not those. Not those. Extraterrestrial. Okay, Debbie Lovato. I mean, first of all, this is clearly Archer. Sterling. What? What, the, what did she say? <laughs> That's my name. Is not, not my name is. Yeah. Uh, my name is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fuck. Made me forget what I was saying. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> that's it. That's all right, bro. Yeah, I'll tell you though, we were talking you. about Operation Paperclip and uh, how the motherfuckers was coming over to the U.S. specifically, Verna von Braun. Right. Yeah. And they definitely have to lay out of, their, of our land if they're using which, anything. That's real fine. quick, since we're on Paperclip, I was watching a quick documentary that was following his life earlier today, and towards the end of it, one of the things that uh, Verna was quoted saying at one point was, <laughs> it was so ridiculous to kind of like hear, but one, one of them, he was uh, on screen and he was saying how it was so great to be able to come to America and help make all these different things because it made them feel like they repaid their debt to the to the country or oh, helped wow. them repay their debt to the country. And I was just like, wow, all right. And then when they were getting ready to get sent over, he's uh, there's an interview of him saying how it's a moral choice for them to come over. And defect or whatever, and I was just like, she's so just with the bullshit, right off, right off rip. It's not like you got caught by TIs, and if you don't defect, I'm sure that's not a great option for you. It's a, oh, it's some more choice, five. We go over, yeah. Fuck right. you, Verna. <laughs> Verna Von Braun. Should, his whole story is wild too. Von fucking China. <laughs> I'm not sure if they're going to touch on it here. Let me skim through this real quick because... Touch on what? Wasn't he best friends with fucking Walt Disney? Yeah. There's actually... You can go on YouTube and you can pull up a video of him doing a space thing for Disney. Yeah. He did hell of shit for them. That's where I got the graphic for the episode. Yeah. It's, it's it, fucking amazing. Disney, yeah, anyway. Like, <laughs> people... Like, yo, we should do an episode on Disney, honestly. Like, fuck them. They need to be like Walt Disney. Them. Not, 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 not the movies and shows, like actual Walt Disney. Yeah. You know, his connections and ties. Yeah. I hear you. And and the conspiracy theories? Yeah, before he wakes up again. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the thing I was research, keeping their, their, their Messiah alive somewhere. Right, low key, he's really the one running everything. The Rothschilds report to Disney. The mm. head of Disney, like in Futurama. Yeah, there's a, there's a Mickey Mouse <laughs> symbol uh, on the bottom of their house uh, on Bender's body. On Bender's body, no, Bender's body is currently uh, being shipped through time inside Homer's basement. True, depending on whether or not you're watching that or the movies, you're you're, you're right. He's definitely in the ground somewhere. They use him <laughs> as a time capsule. Yeah. Well, yeah. no, he just shuts off to pass the time. <laughs> That's how he time well, travels. He, he, just is his own, he I think he did it like time three travel. times for that show. He, he skips he's done it a bunch of times. So <laughs> it, it leads you to wonder if there are multiple benders out there. Right just under the ground. They probably found them. They know they're there. They dug them up already. We should ask that. Omicron 6. I whoa, Omicron don't, whoa, whoa. That's what it was. Uh, whoa, don't say Omicron. Mm. Omicron you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna fucking banned. Saying hey, that shit. It was it was a Futurama thing. Fact check me. It, oh, it's, okay, yeah, it's too not, late. We're not gonna get Joe Rogan for that. That's <laughs> <gonna be good. laughs> Yo, that should just become a new thing. Joe Rogan. Being I Joe really Rogan. wonder if Spotify is gonna get rid of him because that's a, no. They they already said they weren't. Yeah, they said that, but 
all these people are coming out now. It's so many people coming out saying like, something against Joe Rogan. And at first it was like, was it Neil Young? Like, who cares what Neil Young thinks? His his audience is like 80 years old. But when yeah. you get more and more people and younger artists start to say, well, I don't want to do, want to do business with Spotify. I didn't think they would cut Joe Rogan off, but it might happen. That's that's such – it's so stupid, that whole shit. And if it does happen, know. it'll happen. I'm for it'll censorship, happen. and I can't work with people that aren't for censorship. Okay, you fucking shill. Now, let's just keep it all the way 100. If they drop him, he's going to do some fucking outlandish shit and sign with somebody else. I, I mean, mean, he didn't have to sign in the first place. Yeah, I, was say, I don't think I don't think he's anything outlandish, but he'll just get picked up by some somebody else or some other platform. Alex Jones will host his website. Somebody's gonna host him. It's probably gonna be like fucking iHeart or somebody. Yeah, but didn't he already get a warning of some sort? Like because he didn't. He, if you get dropped, it's gonna happen on the uh, like under the table or like the building. By the time the, they mentioned it, it would have already had happened. The building of Atlantis has commenced. Not yet. Building or the emerging? Which Atlanta? You mean the Disney Atlantis? Because that was a solid movie. I didn't like the sequel though. Oh look, see, now he got a warning already. In the cold. Yeah, he, if yeah. you keep on just saying things on a public forum where nobody has to actually listen, you're gonna get in trouble. Like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get in trouble. Like people yeah. listen because they're organic conversations, and then you get in trouble because the reason why they bought you for 150 million dollars is now a problem. Like go fuck yourself, Spotify. Fuckers. Wait, <laughs> they they that man in advance? They're because... still such thing of freedom of speech. Not Don't really. To say what they want. No, they can't. No, you can't. Why? And in to be being afraid of being fucking culture canceled. Fuck your culture. Cancel me. What? That's not. That's not what's gonna happen. They're gonna make it seem like. So the many black people Yeah, they, they, the people don't want to listen to him because he's spreading misinformation, which mm-hmm. is crazy. But whatever. <clears throat> I mean, I, most likely people that have never really listened. Yeah, exactly. To show. I, yeah, Nicole's right. If if he gets kicked from Spotify, he might as well just go back to do his own thing because nobody else is gonna touch him. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. That, that's He'll probably make better. more money that way anyway. Yeah, he should just do that because there will be people that would still sponsor him. There are people that would still. He'd and even if not, up- like he's, it's not like he's fucking poor. Like he's fine. Yeah, Rogan's <laughs> fine. I, 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 I'm not being all right. He'll survive. Bro, if Werner von Braun can be a Nazi and end up in Huntsville, Alabama, in 1952, all is possible. Because bro, Braun became a technical director. Of the U.S. Army Ballistic Weapons Program after that. Under his leadership, the Redstone, Jupiter, C, Juno, and Pershing missiles were developed. In 1955, he became a U.S. The chocolate citizen. one? The who? The chocolate? You said Hershey's missiles? No, I said Pershing. <laughs> oh, Pershing. Oh. Yes, it was Pershing time. missiles. Yes, he Maybe. said it this time. <laughs> in 55, he became a U.S. citizen and characteristically accepted citizenship wholeheartedly. What does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Thank you for letting me come over after I killed so many of your men. And he was he was proud to become an American. Right? <laughs> proud to be an American, but at least I know I get to they, 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 they I should be American you because you have terminated the Nazi too. party. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> like they talk about all the Nazis that came to America, they sent a lot of the motherfuckers down to Argentina. They See, were they're down there strong. A lot of people secure. defend these guys though and say that you know they didn't they didn't uh they didn't accept the Nazi regime's ways. They just had to do it. I mean, that, they I, just to made be, to, to be rockets. fair. Yeah, like Werner von Braun probably didn't actually kill anybody himself, but he still worked for people who was killing people with technology. He, he he did yeah, fund. They killed like, him with your did, technology, right? Like he did help develop the rockets that they used to bombard London. Like I'm sure somebody died, and like even for died. example, in the in the documentary I watched, there was a point where Hitler, because I think there was an explosion that happened at one of their missile uh, facilities during the war, that Hitler was like, "All right, fuck this shit. It's not fucking," and he's like, "Oh no, we gotta fix it." So he compiled a reel of successful launches and then brought it to him himself 
And then Hitler was like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, go back to full production and then kill the, UK, the, the Englishman. And that's what they did. And then after that, they started using the V2s and shit like that. So he was about to get cut out, but then he was like, no, you're going to stop my work. I can't have that shit. It's like, you could have fucking defected then, then, bitch. Motherfucker. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's a moral choice. Go fuck yourself in your grave, you dead cunt. And fuck your family. Cancel that. Yeah. Excuse me. Well, he did still accept his citizenship wholeheartedly. 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 I think it's, a, I think it's an adjective that gets me. I think he, he went to what? New York City, got a chopped cheese sandwich, bought a I Love New York t shirt. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> got got a a fucking cheese 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 cheese. Cheese. Where you at? Uh, he, he, he got it the He couldn't he forget said, the he best. He says car like ha. Huh? <laughs> you know, it says water like water, you know, like he's, he became a true American. He got well, a hot he dog. Got, he got he definitely got it the Aki way. The Aki way. <laughs> hey, yo, the Aki, man, can you know, you know, you know, uh, you know, you know, everybody? Yo, but these motherfuckers came inside one of the TikTok things and said, Yo, Aki, give me a chopped cheese on top of this Joe's pizza. Motherfucker, with a little sour chopped cheese on top of it. With sour please. Not too much, just enough. And Van Warm beer. <laughs> I want it on a on a brat. It, it needs to be on a brat. No, you don't have brat first for breakfast. Yeah, I will terminate it. What What do you mean? People eat beans in London for breakfast. I, I can Max, have a brat. <laughs> That's beans and toast. You know, like beans and toast. No, I like food for breakfast. Thanks. Bangers and mash. Like, why are they still living like this? Why? Right. They, they, <laughs> this is crazy. Why? Why do y'all still have shepherd's pie out there and hog? Shepherd's and... pie tastes good. Relax, Colin. Relax. Have y'all had? You know, shepherd's relax. pie is made with like refuse, right? Like real shepherd's pie. We don't care about real shepherd's pie. That's what yeah, I'm fucking talking about. Real shepherd's pie. American 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 pie. Of all the American 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 mashed potatoes and veggies with a little bit of gravy. Pie. I, I said how, shepherd's how, how pie, haggis, because it's the same food. shit. It's, it's like, well, oh. haggis is like Scotland's thing or Ireland's thing. The UK, look, they are independent, but I say UK, and that's a UK dish. They're both. If we want to go to England, they do have a dish, as we pointed out before, called, well, Faggot. What? I don't know why I was hesitant a on faggot? it. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's not a dish? Yes, it is. Go Google that shit right now. Google the dish faggot. It exists. Uh, is, it, is it a real I don't thing? Think, listen, yeah, did it you is. just say it's what I think thing. you said? Because you can't say that on the air. I just did, I think, two or three times. It's a dish. Yeah, Fact you, check me. I was talking about cigarettes. That's a fag. It okay. is. Yeah, I'm not bullshitting. Faggots are meatballs made from minced off cuts of awful. Yeah, awful pork. is the shit that you don't eat. Pig's it's heart, liver, garbage. and fatty belly meat or bacon. Together with herbs for flavoring and sometimes added breadcrumbs, it is a traditional dish in the United Kingdom, especially South and Mid Wales I'm and sorry, the bacon English so Midlands. And it is seen... On a plate with potatoes and Maro fat processed peas. I don't know what the fuck that means. Maro fat. That means they, they that means they cooked it with bone marrow because they're yeah. fat fuckers out there. It sounds disgusting. Yeah, they can suck, you, can, can they I suck see the a juice image? out of bones. Oh, you want to see an image? All right, yeah, I got you. So, so, so uh, that that is, How hungry do you gotta be to come up with that shit? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I the thing itself looks kind of good. I don't like the way the the peas look, but the no, thing itself. No. Oh no, those are the mashed potatoes. But oh, no, it does cute. look. It doesn't look that bad. The potato, it, the mashed potatoes. It, 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 it just looks like mashed potatoes on Salisbury steak with peas. Yeah, right. I would. I would. I would taste it. Yeah. Listen, I, I I love food, so I won't knock it till I try. You're, it. you're forgetting one thing, though. Everything you see on that plate, those individual dishes. That is also the seasoning. <laughs> the seasoning also? Yeah, so There's the no potatoes way. are they have to add these with peas. salt and fucking pepper. 
The, no, no. They, and they no, didn't use no, that's, that's way too much. Maybe salt to bring out the flavor. Pepper, maybe. But I didn't see any black flakes in there. You see, the peas are there to bring out the flavor of the mashed potatoes. And then the gravy's there to bring out the flavor of the peas. And the flavor of the gravy is brought up by the mashed potatoes. There's nothing there. The plate didn't look that bad, though. You could add some seasoning. The plate here. looked good, but I doubt it tasted good. Especially if it's made for a dish that has awful in it. It's it did look good, though. You can't deny that. <laughs> mm. I didn't know that was the actual food. I thought you was just trolling. I was not. I, because of how hot that word is, I wouldn't just troll with that word. It's not like there was a really good troll in that. I don't have any trolls. There's nowhere in this fucking episode when we came up with it that I thought not for one second did <laughs> were we go going to at all agree that a plate of faggot looked good to eat. Crazy. <laughs> what a time to be alive. <laughs> I double ice ranking official descendants and only descendants appreciate. Sure. Yep, down yeah, in yeah. Uh, uh, Venezuela, as you were saying before. Like, there's I, I, if I, you I, go I, and look yeah. at it, like, there's plenty of people who have looked into this, and it's astounding. Like, it's not something that can be denied just because there's not like people from Brown University and Harvard or wherever the fuck going down to verify it. Nah, there's blonde haired, blue eyed. European looking people that have never been to Europe that speak the native language but are clearly of Aryan descent and are in a village of Aryan people all speaking a local language and German. And if you go to their homes, what do they have? They have memorabilia of their ancestors that fought in the war and a lot of it is Nazi shit and they hold it in a certain regard, a high regard because they don't really have any context of the negative aspects because they just have of when they got there. It's fucking crazy. It gets deep as shit. I don't know what he's talking about, clearly. Bro, I'll tell you that there's a friend of the show who's been on a couple of times, and I won't say his name for discretion, but he stated that his grandfather was in the rocket program in Nazi Germany and defected and changed his name because he was a Nazi. A friend of the show. Yes. Uh huh. I'm surprised he would even tell you that. He's a good dude. You never think it. That's 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 irrelevant. I mean, like your father's a fucking war criminal, or your grandfather's a war criminal. I would probably keep that on the low. I wouldn't tell too many people. I was like, yeah, my granddad's a war criminal, and if he's alive, he can still be tried. But yeah, you've I, heard of him, right? I doubt he's alive. Dead, I, he, I doubt it, I doubt he's alive too, but you never know. And even if he wasn't, it's still like, eh, I'd probably keep that on the low. Oh, yeah, yeah, Talon, you're right. I just typed it out. I didn't see that you typed it out. But yes, yes, you're, you're absolutely right. Isn't that weird? <laughs> it's not not really. <laughs> there's Isn't a lot of people. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Would you like a smoke and a pancake? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. A bong and a blitz? Pipe, Pipe in a crib? <laughs> then there is no police in you. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Gold Member. One of the best ones in the franchise. I wish yeah. we got a fourth one when it was still hot, but I wouldn't want one now. I don't know. I still want to see him Repra repraise the role. Like, I, I kind of do because remakes and se like late sequels have not had a good track record lately. I don't trust Hollywood. I think Mike Myers could pull it off, but I don't think there's enough comedic talent to support him anymore. No. I, I think there's enough comedic talent. It's just, are they going to let them do whatever they want to do? Because those, cause you look at a movie from 1999, it's offensive compared to what's coming out today. Like the <laughs> This is true. It's because people are too scared to be canceled. And now nah, I just—I mean, Hollywood has an agenda and a plan they want to run with, so they want to make movies that have a certain style. They're gonna roll with that, right? And it's like, fine, do that, but like, just then actually make it funny. <laughs> 
tell me a message, have a message, be preachy, but be fucking funny. That's message. That's, that's all that's being asked out of you for, for doing a comedy. It's just be funny. Whatever else you want to do, do it. But just be funny. But no. Right. <laughs> Everybody in that movie is getting canceled, starting with Austin Powers. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> you go. But he's as a long as it's a swan song, though. If it's a swan song and he's yeah. just like, I'm retiring and le- like I'm already leaving the country before it premieres. If you guys get into it, navigate the info. But Tim Kennedy has a series of haunting Hitler that goes all through this stuff. So open. My nigga. I'm German. Appreciate yeah. It. Well, we appreciate your, you showing up here. Hi, Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. What? Don't white care. power? I, I see the irony in there, but there's no white power here. We don't we don't support <laughs> uh, groups like that. The only group we support is the Great Room and Junkers, so if you're not a part of that, it's whatever. And there is only about half of uh, uh, maybe maybe the little half in me that's Irish and the half of Caucasian that's in Thailand make a whole white man, but that's about it on this show. Yeah. We're pretty diverse in this bitch. You wouldn't know it. Yeah, pretty much. Anywho, where were we? Ron Brown was already in Alabama in 52. Super bad. That's where we were. Oh, he just got his chopped cheese. That's where we were at. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's no, 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 no. citizenship wholeheartedly. About to be an American citizen. All right, he was seeing the Statue of Liberty, he got to the Empire State and shit. Well, he be he uh in the fifties, Braun became a national and international focal point for the promotion of space flight. Uh, he was the author and, or co-author of popular articles and books made addressed on the subject. Yeah, he was really big for that. That like made he was that was his goal, which is kind of funny going back to like the firmament, firmament because he kind of dedicated his whole life to space related things, as we're about to get into. But then when he dies on this tombstone, as you'll later find out, the name that he has is just like he knew more, and he was part of a whole one of those those first blanket CI ops for the whole country. What I think really is because he did all of that already when the Nazi regime pushed their fucking um, their um, tech to the brink when the conspiracy right. came that they actually went to the moon first. Because one more thing I wanted to put out and I, did I did I save it? I don't think I saved it. But if you Google a map of the flat earth with the firmament, the ice wall and all of that, you can see that... Pull, pull it up for us, sir. I couldn't find the one that had the planets and the moon and all of that oh, on so, it. Oh, so you were fucking lying. That's what No, <laughs> the one... I have one. I can pull it up. <laughs> so you're, just, the so one you're I, just talking out your ass. Got it. You just, we talking about some sensitive ass shit and you're like, all so right, believe me, bro. Trust me. It's all sure, good. Sure. Just, just trust believe me. Believe me when I tell you. I got just no trust proof. Me, bro. I see you. I seen it before on the internet. It got scrubbed. <laughs> All right. So look, I got one right here. But the one I got here says stupid shit like Asgard. And uh, fucking... uh, yeah. Uh... Whatever. <laughs> But you see, it's supposed to be all of this. All right. Can you guys right. see it's the like hand right there? Okay. Yeah, you can. If you look at it, it's like an eye and wearing the iris. At least you tried. Well. Here, I believe, is where um, Richard E. Bird or whatever the fuck his name was went through here. And that got caught up and came back. He got jumped before he came back, too. <laughs> he did. And one of the, this island right here. He got, he got, he got jumped heavy. They made him bite the curb. On camera. <laughs> they made him bite the curb. This in American History X. Although, I like the reference you're putting I mean, out. They, 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 made, they made him bite the log. <laughs> in the woods, Slammed his face on an iceberg. Was good in New York? 
Savage. Hey, Good. what's up? Thanks for Senior the rep. We appreciate y'all. We appreciate uh, real quick uh, all y'all locally from the United States and those abroad. Once again, we do appreciate yeah. all that love. See, that's what we were saying before. We are world famous. World. We are world renowned. We appreciate y'all because we appreciate y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cyclical thing. We do because we do. Don't talk and about cyclical things because I watched the whole Terminator series like yesterday and today, and it 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 it, it holds up. Does it fit into it, the Matrix? If you know now that they're connected, you can see similarities to Neo, um, Agent Smith, Morbius, and fucking um, Trinity. Morbius, Trinity. He said Morpheus. Yeah. Fuck. I have pizza in my mouth. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sir. Your face is underneath the the live thing, so I can't. It looks like we're all off screen right now. <laughs> you guys are all off screen. No, I know, but I got, you're, you're completely covered by like the the screen widgets and stuff like that. I see, Dre. You got like your eighth grade prom picture on there when you got your glasses on. I see. <laughs> yeah, because I, I was in eighth grade in that picture, you dickhead. Nah, <laughs> I'm pretty. Don't you have your jersey on in that picture? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you almost made me die on live camera. You've been all right. Anywho, uh, this is us. This is why they say the earth is round. This is all they give you. I mean, is that a lie? I mean... Just because we didn't interpret it correctly? It's not a sphere. That, yes. It's more of a circle. And, but even when you say that, they always go, well, it's kind of not even a sphere. It's a... Da -da -da. It's like, yo, shut the fuck up. Why is every time I say, well, what about this? You go, well, actually... That's what they're meant to do. We we did that on behalf of the break room and talking junk network. We need to just go do this trip our damn selves. Yo, this trip costs a lot of fucking money, all right? Yeah, it does. Excuse me if I can't over the sea, my nigga. Yeah, what trip? Go to, to Antarctica? <laughs> yeah. I'd rather I'd rather fund people that want to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go. Like I wanna know, but I don't want to know that bad. You can go find out though. You know what I mean. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind going either. But I'll buy money... you a GoPro mix, and you can find out. <laughs> you, know, you might have to get me a wireless router too, bro. I'll hook you the fuck let me, up. Let me let you, you know go. something, bro. Wireless router is not what it says. Right? Hey, it's it, let us wired. know in the chat. Should we start you know a I mean? Patreon or GoFundMe yeah, to get Megs to the wall? Word. I love the cold anyway. That is not <clears> gonna fund a lot of money. Yeah, it could. Don't, see, I don't, if you don't about, have I don't faith. The money. I first of all, not guys. having any faith is just killing it in the water. And that's the last know, thing right? we need if we're sending Migs to the wall. He's going to be in tons of water. I'm going to be chilling. Well, even yeah. if he goes to the wall, there's no way he's going to make it to the actual rock wall. Bro, that's fine, though. You see all those islands? I just need homie to make land and not die. Islands. Well, you see what I mean here? This is the only thing that I can kind of put to what I was saying. You see how it says Horus is right here? Yeah. Which would mean the Eye of Horus, which would mean almost like the North Star. You know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> you could Everything. also argue that the land that you're over right now is the land that Bird thought he went into. This land right here, right? A 10? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. It was either this one or this one. But regardless, he said that there was mad Nazi stuff there. Mm. Mass symbols, villages, you know, shit like that there. Beer, Holocaust, Beer. everything. Matt, Wooly Mammoths, he, he definitely said that we're there. Yep. So you mean to tell me you wouldn't want one of us? And it was, this was before Vanna White. <laughs> this was this is pre Vanna. Pre Vanna for sure. <laughs> Bro, that's not Hannibal Burris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
It's an explosion, I think, in our dreams. Bro, if it was Hannibal Burr enough enough, we'd have a large fan base. You know what? I would love to get into that. Not that I would replace Dre, but people know who he is. They don't. Nobody knows us yet. (laughs) Hannibal will be on here within two years if we want him to. Maybe this year if I run into him in Arizona. Hey, there you go. You you do have a, a knack for getting to the right places. Yeah, at the right time too, and mm. it's usually because he doesn't check for the nuts. We we can't hear you, Dre. We need to get him to L.A. We do. <laughs> Yo, Mix. I've been to L.A. before. What? what, what no, you come out here to you. L.A. where all the talent is. No, yo, come out here. Like, take a trip to where I'm at. We got an airport you could fly into, and then come with me down to L.A. for that thing. What is that thing? Oh, you didn't see in the chat? I'll inform you. I'll let you know. Oh, I already told him. I already told him. For that thing. Yeah, that thing oh, thing. That that thing. We, can't, we can't announce until you go take that trip. Man, that's that my thing. son's birthday. I wasn't worried about anything except hanging out with my son. Huh? Yeah, what? What? I said I wasn't worried about anything. Never mind. That flew over your head. What are you drinking on? Because it flew over your head. Shut your mouth. I'm drinking Jack. He's telling, see, you need to put the yak down and listen. He's asking you <laughs> to fly. I, I will go out there. He's asking you to fly with him, uh, to fly out there so you can take the trip to, to LA with him for that little meeting that I told you about that I hooked up. Are you still not getting it? How do you want me to answer that? Yes what? or no, nigga? What? What? Yeah. I think he, I think he was taking a couple sips to think on it. Yeah, I kind of was. <laughs> I ain't trying to chill. <laughs> All right, All right. We'll, we'll, we'll just inform your uninformed ass. Uh, yeah, he, yeah, he's a he's a <laughs> nuclear scientist right now. He doesn't he just can't think about it. Yeah, he's he, he's thinking about physics and rocket science right now. He's not. <laughs> <laughs> Well, going back to physics and rocket science, in 1954, a secret Army Navy project. Danger launch, zone. Definitely danger zone. <laughs> to, to launch an Earth satellite, which is another conspiracy. They say that there's no satellites up there. Uh, project Orbiter was thwarted. They do say it's like 30 or 40,000 of them up there. <laughs> and some believe there are none, that they never really left the atmosphere. Well, when there's no atomic bombs, all those shits are fake. I don't know. <laughs> you know, here, after not, seeing yeah, some of those videos again. <laughs> yeah, yeah never mind. That's another shit. Yeah, man. we can have an episode about how atomic bombs are fake. And they didn't they didn't bomb Japan, they firebombed them when they just ran around the, the cities and just lit the cities on fire. But they didn't drop what? The atomic bomb on them. Yeah, go to Hiroshima and say that. Yeah, here you see those videos of them dropping an atomic bomb, but the camera's still there. The camera yeah. works. The camera's perfectly fine, but everything else goes away. The same way we live stream from the moon and can't even get a good live <laughs> yeah, exactly. We know that's not real. We have adamantium cameras that only the government has. Adamantium. I would I would think more of vibranium. It's a it's a polymer mix. <laughs> yeah, of, of these cameras that don't explode or break or anything, but the an, an entire city got bombed. And they can, they can record all of humanity just being wiped out. Like, well, there you have it coming yeah, live, right? Like, fuck out of here. <laughs> but what? By the way, since we're just talking about things being filmed, why the fuck was like the entirety of World War II filmed? Like, why would who <laughs> came for up with that? It was like, well, yeah, they yo, always do that for wars and and battles. Like, there's always a recorder or somebody I, out there. Did you see the one for fucking uh, Afghanistan or the Iraq War that we won with Bush? I didn't see those. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, man, they're, they're, they're in the form about, of <laughs> they're, they're in the form of um journalism they'll call it. They have yeah, but nowadays they're they're in the form of you know PTSD driven movies. Those two. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I you know what I think it is? It's that we we definitely um <laughs> what is it? We put yeah. World War II on a level. <sighs> It's an explosion, I think, in our dreams. It all happens, and we come back. I uh, didn't you say that before? It's called a wet dream. No, 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 no. We're gonna, we're definitely yes. gonna do a fucking episode on that because I believe on wet, dreams? wet dreams, not wet dreams, you assholes. <laughs> wait, 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 wet assholes. Whoa, whoa. 
Whoa. Whoa. So wait, <laughs> we are I didn't here. say wet assholes either. What is happening in this episode? Back to Werner von Braun, okay? <laughs> Fuck happened. The Earth Satellite Project Orbiter was thwarted. The, si the situation was changed by the landing of Sputnik 1 by the Soviet Union on October 4th, 57, followed by Sputnik 2 on November 3rd. Given uh, leave to proceed on November 8th, Braun and his army group launched the first U.S. satellite, Explorer 1, on January 31st, 1958. So, fun fact, uh, the launchings of Sputnik 1 and 2, um, because boxing is so popular in Russia, is actually where the idea of like the 1-2 punch came from. Uh, it got really popular after that when they went around boxing. <laughs> So, so that's like, why they put up two bullshit. satellites real quick. <laughs> yeah, that is bullshit. I can't even. Yeah, I was like, right? people been saying one two punch before the way before the Soviet <laughs> Union ever existed. But okay. I, if I, if, I if I didn't it. laugh it and we just played it off, somebody probably would have believed that. I didn't. I didn't believe it as soon as you finished saying it. I was like, that's not true. I know you would. Know that. <laughs> you, I definitely knew you would know that. I was trying to maybe troll the audience a little bit, you know. Yeah, I wish you didn't laugh. Or Miguel yeah. with his yak drinking ass. It's yeah. too much bullshit. Yeah, he's going to make it off camera. After the National Aeronautics and Space Administration was formed to carry out the U.S. space program, Braun and his organization were transferred from the Army to the agency as director of NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville. Braun led the develop. Yes, yes, you heard that right. A Nazi was the head of NASA. Nazi NASA. Nazi NASA. Um, yeah. um, uh, anyway, Marshall F Space Flight Center in Huntsville. Braun led the development of the large space launch vehicles Saturn 1 and uh, 1B and V. The engineering. What the fuck is 1B? One Bravo. If but if he's using <laughs> Roman numerals, wouldn't it be 1V? Why I don't know what he, I don't know what you're reading to know if if he was using Roman numerals or not though. Well, V and I are Roman numerals. Sorry. I think I know what he's talking about. Hold on, I'll share it. Yeah, the Saturn, I shall I, 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 B, and V. Well, he's wow. looking that up. Here's an actual fun fact. Uh, he Werner von Braun actually did help America in the realms of uh, cleaning supplies. <clears throat> he helped change like machines and they the way they were able to create fabrics and like do thin filaments and everything like that and from that is where the company of brawny came from what the paper towel yeah <laughs> i don't know if he's trolling again either but he's trolling again gentlemen. that's where brawn originated from i guess I was like, isn't it spelled differently? You said, oh, well, Braun. Braun. No, it's actually spelled the same way. No, it's spelled differently. It's, it's eight. He got a U in his name. It's spelled yeah. differently because they changed. They didn't, like, you look at Braun. Uh -huh. He's not very, yeah. like, manly looking. So they so went they with put a fucking one. lumberjack shirt, a brolic ass arm, and a different right, because, for the name. Well, because when right. they were when they came out, that was more of an <laughs> image of what a man was. Somebody who had brawn amongst them. Brawny. And it also happened to be a pun with the man who helped it become he didn't invent brawny, but he helped create the machines that allowed a brawny to exist. And so it's kind of like an honoring sort of thing. That's more believable. Right. Okay. Learn something new every day, ladies and gentlemen. Anywho, the engineering success of each rocket in the Saturn class of space boosters, which uh, contained millions of individual parts, remained unparalleled in rocket history. Each was launched successfully and on time and met safe performance requirements. In March 1970, Braun was transferred to NASA headquarters in Washington, D.C. as Deputy Associate Administrator for Planning. He resigned from the agency in 72 to become Vice President at Fairchild Industries Incorporated, an aerospace company. In 1975, he founded the National Space Institute, a private organization whose objective was to gain public support and understanding of space activities. In attempting to justify his involvement in the development of the German V-2 rocket, Braun stated that the patriotic motives had outweighed whatever uh, qualms 
he had had about the moral implications of his nation's policies under Hitler. He also emphasized that the innate imp, uh, impartial, impartiality of scientific research, which in itself, he said, was no moral dimensions until its product are put to use by larger society. During his uh, later career... Let's hear my thoughts. Was that Tallinn in his car? <laughs> Typical Tallinn. <laughs> Where was I? He also emphasized the innate impartiality of scientific research, which in itself, he said, has no moral dimensions until its products are put to use by larger society. During his later career, Braun received numerous high awards from U.S. government agencies and from professional societies in the United States and other countries. Uh, the Earth satellite, also called artificial satellite, artificial object launched into a temporary or permanent orbit around Earth's space, spacecraft of this type may be uh, either crude or uncrewed and later uh, being the most common. Where was I? Uh, October 57, nearly three countries after Newton had proposed his theory, the Soviet Union launched the first Earth satellite, Sphinx 1. Sphinx circled Earth every 96 minutes, and its simple radio signal was heard by scientists and radio operators across the world. The United States orbited its first satellite, Explorer 1, three months later, uh, January 31st, 1958. Explorer, though much smaller than Sphinx, was instrumented to detect uh, radiation and discovered uh, the what? Who says something? The in innermost of the two Van Allen radiation belts, a zone of electricity charged solar particles that surrounds the Earth. Since these initial efforts, more than 5,000 Earth satellites have been orbited by more than 70 different nations. As of 2017, more than 2,000 satellites are in orbit, the majority being from Russia and the United States. The satellites vary widely in size and design, ranging from small uh, Pico satellites of less than a kilogram uh, to the International Space Station, a space laboratory that is home to six astronauts and has a mass more than 400 tons. They are equally diverse in function. Scientific satellites are chiefly used to collect about data about the Earth's uh, surface and atmosphere and to make uh, astronomical ab observations. Weather satellites transmit photographs of cloud patterns and measurements of other meter, 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 meteorological. Thank you, sir. Meteorological, that shit, <laughs> conditions that aid in weather forecasting while communication satellites relay uh, telephone calls, radio and television programs, and data communications between distant parts of the world. Navigation satellites enable the crews of ocean-going vessels and airplanes to determine the position of their craft in all kinds of weather. Some satellites have distinctly military applications, with, uh, such as reconnaissance and surveillance. You know, uh, reading about satellites and engineering. When when you think about that, though, it makes you wonder, like in regards to the firmament and like what they may or may not be hiding, whether it's the firmament, hollow earth, whatever it is, you may want to believe in the chat or whatever. But today, firmament, since everything is being guided by a satellite, your path is predetermined. Like people aren't guiding by sight and knowledge and feel. They're guiding by a system. Now, they still have that feel. I'm not trying to detract by captains and pilots in any type of way like that. However, there are flight paths that you learn and you tend to follow. You don't just kind of like wing it, so to speak, or whatever. You follow a certain lane that you're supposed to follow, certain trade routes, certain pathways. And because you always follow that and nobody really explores anymore... We just believe in the image that we're told of the earth because that's what 
we believe our surrounding is. We can't step back and actually look at everything from like a God view. So we only have the perception of what we think the entire planet looks like. And if you believe it enough, then that's what it is, especially if everybody believes it as, as a whole. But if you change your perspective, it can make other things be like, oh, well, I suppose maybe that is possible. Oh, everybody gets quiet when Walt Disney walks in, huh? Yeah, you know. It's well, now, I didn't know he commanded such diligence. Disgust. Oh, yeah. Disdain. <laughs> Content. Well, when he died in 77 and what ultimately ties all of this together... But he went to sleep. No, not, <laughs> not Disney. Not Disney. Von Braun. Oh. When Von Braun died in 77, he, he uh, put something on his... In 73, he died. No. In, Von, in 73, he was diagnosed... See, we should have just went with Wiki with this. Britannica didn't give us as much as Wiki would have. But Von Braun, di he was diagnosed in 73 with kidney cancer during a routine medical examination, which pans out because he was dealing with a lot of fucking radiation. However, he continued to work unrestrained for a number of years. In January 77, now very ill, he resigned from Fairchild Industries. Later in 77, President Gerald Ford awarded him the country's highest science honor, the National Fucker. Medal of Science and Engineering. He was, however, too ill to attend the White House ceremony. Von Braun died on June 16, 1977, of pan pancreatic cancer in Alexandria, Virginia, at age 65. Good. He is buried on Valley Road at the Ivy Hill Cemetery. His gravestone cites Psalms 19.1. The heavens de declare the glory of God, and the firmament sueth his handiwork. Yep. Now, what do you think that is uh, alluding to? Well, like I was saying beforehand, I think the fact that he had such a strong hand in supposedly, because uh, honestly, it's all second hand, all that knowledge. Um, so much getting uh, getting in the United States into space, and granted, it's like, oh well, he was involved with you know Russia getting to space with Sputnik and whatnot. It's arguable that space is even what's going on. No, but they, who's to say that they weren't running the same op on their own people because they knew better and they wanted to maintain control, but they wanted to still beat out the United States just because one side may not be influencing the other side doesn't mean both sides don't have the same tactic or have the same intention of control behind them. And right. <clears throat> because of that, him being on the forefront of so much for space and making space be what it was and helping push it into popular culture because sci-fi and space back in the day was so popular. Everybody heard about it. Everybody was somewhat into it because it was new. The idea of it being new nowadays yeah, it was is a hard trend. to grasp because when all of us were kids, sci-fi had already been around for a while. So like new really just came in terms of effects and for a little while stories. But the entire concept Star Wars, Star oh, Trek, all well, that. even before that, like they had like Flash Gordon Lost stuff and things things. like that. The serial shows that would come out that had like really terrible, like for nowadays anyway, uh special effects. I heard they're gonna, they're gonna redo Flash Gordon. Which makes sense. It's been a while. It's a property that's worth trying, although I have no faith in them doing that. But to backtrack it to Von Braun, um, since he had so much in that, and as we were saying before, he had to do with Disney and making videos for Disney talking about space, which was the number one thing for like family programming and just had that image. He helped put the idea that there is space in the common people's mind, that it's just a fact because it was spoken to as a fact by a well-renowned scientist that's supported by the government and da-da-da with other scientists. So that's what we believe it is. And on their end, kind of going to back to Adam was saying about um, them having to say things without actually say it, 
them saying that the earth is round but it's not you know a sphere and it's not this like there's all these technicalities because they try and make it to where you don't ask questions but as soon as you start to ask questions that when that's when things break down and if you ask too many questions that's when your life breaks down and you become unalived and <laughs> It's, it's a trepidous thing to do because it's only dangerous provided that it's only a small amount of amount of people talking about it. And the more people that r realize that a lot of conspiracies 10 years ago have played out in some way or another, and you realize the context of conspiracies and how the CIA is involved in that, how there's conspiracies to make conspiracies, to thwart conspiracies that are actually true, it gets deep. It's ridiculous on purpose because then the more ridiculous it is, the less likely you are to spend the time to look into things. But once you do it, there's no going fucking back. There is a red pill, so to speak, for the matrix we live in. And becoming aware of statements like the, what's on Von Braun's grave, looking at his history, what he was involved in, and then putting that in the context of other things that go on in this world, and specifically in this country, it's hard not to want to pull that thread and see what happens. But if you unravel what's there, you're going to see a whole lot of shit. But it's worth it, because the more people that see it, the more people that can talk about it, and the easier it can be to change. But right now, if you're scared to even begin to talk about it... We're all just going to keep being fucked because we're in the fourth Reich. The fifth Reich is when it's public. Oh, it's public. Is it? Just not on a mass scale. Okay. Well, on that side of the world, right? What do you mean? On every side of the world. The world is flat, bro. I work too damn much then, so. <laughs> I don't hear shit. What? Wait, you don't hear you don't hear shit when you're sitting here. I heard you. I heard you say that. <laughs> or is it talking junk? Little bit of both. Just a little bit. I I just don't understand what he was trying to say. Who? Migs. Right, well, do we ever? That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> it happens sometimes. I, I know. What, he, I know he's a little more faded than I am, but still, he's always a little more faded than everybody. Just a little bit. Makes living that life. Just live life responsibly. Yeah, at least he's at least he's indoors. You know what I mean? Dos Equis. Fuck it. Anywho. This episode has been out of this world. Not really, because there is no world to get out of. Actually, you know what? Before we, we kind of log off real quick, in the idea that there is the firmament, right? Right. What do y'all think it is that we are actually seeing in the sky in regards to stars, the moon and the sun? Do y'all think like that's a floating ball? Do y'all like what? What are your your guys' opinions on like what we're actually seeing up there? A reflection. There's yo there. There's a lot that say the moon is just a reflection of the earth. That the moon is not even real. I hear that a lot too, and uh, man, it's 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 a lot though, man. Because when you look up, like like here's a perfect example. Like me being in New York right before I came to New to Arizona. You look up, you barely see a couple of stars, and obviously it's because of the light. I came out here, I look up, you see a Milky Way of Milky Ways. You know, it's it's just crazy. Yeah. So it's really hard to say because if it's really, if it's really a ball of gas, a few planets, you would you would see them spread out. But certain times when it's dark enough, you know what I mean? like if you're in the woods or if you're camping, you see tons of stars out there. So it's really hard to say what we're really looking at because if it's supposed to be a reflection of Earth, there's a lot is probably reflecting if that were true. But beyond that, it's really hard to say. Like, um, we haven't passed. I guess we haven't gone that high up yet. I, I feel you on that because I've definitely seen the stars out in the desert. And when you like compared to in the state city, like if you've never looked at the sky where there's not a the lot of light pollution, out here in Florida. it is mm -hmm. not like you need to do that before you die. You need to do that because once you actually see that, you realize one. Well. After listening to this, you may not feel this way, but like it gives you a sense of size when you look at it. But I myself have always looked at the sky 
and wondered if that's not like a like a map, a flat map or something like that, because it it always it looks almost three dimensional, but it doesn't seem like it's really as far as it actually is. It's but I don't chart. know. Yeah, it's kind like of, right. Like I, I could kind no, like of when, see it being and, a reflection. So for but the sailors, like, when they we used to sail the fucking world, they use they would look up in the the you know the stars to guide their way. This is why they call them charts in the navy as opposed to a map. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, in that regard, it kind of makes more sense that it would be a reflection because you're not following a, a star. You're following a distant reflection of light of the place you're going to in the sky. And it's so small relative to the fact that so much, only so much light is actually corresponding to that point directly in the sky. Yeah. But I, I, I don't know. It just seems weird because even when you do that, like you don't end up directly underneath a star. So you mean to tell me it's not Mufasa up there? I was gonna say how how would you know you're not under a star? You, you know how well, far because, away like, they are when or you go they, to they say they are. Just from like looking at the sky, like when it's without pollution in like Connecticut versus having done it here, the sky and like where the position of like the few constellations I know have always been different. They're in a different location, but. It's always because my idea when I'm looking at them is that they're distant. I've not like looked at the sky with the idea of that's directly above where I am or somewhat directly, and then gone so somewhere else and like charted that. Because honestly, at the time before I came out here, it wasn't really a thought, and neither was flat Earth. That was not popular five years ago. And I hear you because now if I if I go into my my uh, driveway to the end of it and look where there's no trees and I look up. I'm like right under the the big dipper, like right under that shit. And the big dipper has the North Star on it, but does it? Do 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 do. In the brutal, honesty, I don't think we're trusted with that information yet. I think when we understand that information would be the time the apocalypse or the events on Sermon to the mountain will happen. Well, you ever, you ever there's a lot of, uh, of events in Revelation that have yet to happen as far as we know. Some of them have, though. Yeah. It's easy to have revelations when most of it is man-made. Also, y'all... Uh, Use use God's real name, Ahaya, and Jesus' real name, Yasha. Yahweh. Take take that red pill. I'm not even going to explain that shit. Look it up. Yahweh. Where do you find that red pill? I just gave it to you. Look it up, Yahweh. Man. And it, it, <laughs> Miguel, it is to you be taken. You said get a red pill. Now you're saying look up one. Make up your mind, bro. It is to be uh, taken with liquid. And, Where do you get those? You know, use this way. You know, you don't use it as a suppository. That would be in the not in the nose. In the other hole, gross. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. put it there. Usually, they're larger when it's a suppository. In the poop shoot, no way. <laughs> now you wanna you wanna drop that little gem again, real quick, Tyler. Uh, suppositories are for the poop shoot. No, not not that one. <laughs> Wrong gem. <laughs> Which, which gem? Yeah, the you said a few of them. The, the one you He's said so before good. we established he shouldn't take it in the poop shoot. Uh, I, 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 you gotta give me a little bit more than that. I'm not gonna lie, my mind moved on. The names, my son. The names. Oh, yeah. Uh, so uh, y'all should look up God's real name, Ahaya, and Jesus' real name, Yasha. Look into that. Look into the entomologies of the word God and the entomologies of the word Jesus and keep going back and realize that y'all been goaded. You might have to spell entomology. So you mean Zeitgeist says that it's been uh, that that story's been rewritten through time with different deities. Yeah, that's not really... That's part of the thing, but that's not really the core. You got to keep digging. Christians will tell you that the devil went back in time and he uh, made sure that those stories were there to discredit uh, old JC. 
I have never in my life heard a Christian say that. Never. I have, <laughs> sir. I have. That's Florida people. It's because you're in Florida. Florida. Well, well, different no, out there. Connecticut people, sir. Connecticut, Connecticut people different too, but I've still never even Connecticut heard that said to me. That's sad. That's definitely That's not true. That's a <laughs> it was the devil. The devil went back in time. He has those no, devilish ways. Let's be honest. It wasn't the devil. It was you making a bad decision. Only <laughs> that way. It was the devil, damn it. <laughs> it Sorry, Bobby. Yeah. When you blame it on the devil, you just you you promise yourself a cyclical existence. <laughs> the devil. Make sure you guys tune in every week. To the danger zone. I wish we could play it. Me too. We can't. Play it. Yeah, but, 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 play, get play this, it. Get the I'll be taking. It's worth the warning. <laughs> I'll be taking that. Uh, I'll, put it, I'll put, put it on. I'll put it on. Don't do it. I'll put don't it on, it. and I'll put the lyrics, and we have to sing it. That's the only That's way they'll keep it on. If we all do it, but it's not a song. A song. It, it is. It is a song. It's kind of a song. All right. <laughs> Have you ever seen? <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already outnumbered. I'm not going to argue this point. <laughs> no, I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask you seen a, a certain movie, but never mind. Oh, Top Gun? I actually have seen Top Gun. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that that one I did see. I saw it a number of times growing up. <laughs> Thanks to Auto <laughs> Shots. <why>. Auto <laughs> Shots. <laughs> Auto shops always had Top Gun and like fucking Flipper. <laughs> I've never seen that movie. Fuck what? Finally. <laughs> I got a one up on. Yeah, I never, hey, see, are, I've never are, seen. Are we, still, are we still, yes, yes, sir, oh, we still live? Yes, yes, sir. I was like, wait, are we still talking about this right now? We are still <laughs> talking about it. We are going to leave on a high note. So, what are we singing? The whole fucking thing? Just sing, just sing the hook. All right. Remember, tune in every week, Friday night to Talking Junk, Saturday to the break room, and we are going to be here giving you this quality content every week, every single week. Yes, now yeah, we definitely getting kicked off of YouTube and all this shit for that. So definitely, definitely, <laughs> that definitely <laughs> fucked ourselves in the ass. So if you heard those gems, yeah, definitely replay them. <laughs> yes, we did. We ventured into the danger zone with this episode all over. Like Either it's not gonna listen to the theories. episode. It's gonna be like danger zone. <laughs> <laughs> You owe some residual rights. Right? Like, we're not even monetized, and they'd be like, you gotta take it down. It's like, for what? <laughs> I <laughs> shall not take what? it down. Maybe I'll let them edit that 10-second little bit out, but we love you guys, and like I said during the Danger Zone skit... We Facebook to... definitely kicked us off already. Nah, we're still right. <laughs> they would have told me. We want you to tune in every week, right? Go to the website. Pick the platform that you choose to listen to. Like I said, live where every week, Friday and Saturday on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. And you can catch us in the archives every Sunday. The episodes will drop and they'll be live on the website. TalkingJunkNetwork.com So nice you got to hear it twice. Is that you? No, that's, no not. that's not. It's all right. It's okay. Like I said, you missed us tonight, and we love oh, you. Thank you for good, Yvette. Yvette. And say hey, hey Yvette. Yvette. But yeah. you, didn't you didn't miss us forever. forever. You can go to talkingjunknetwork.com tomorrow when the episode drops in the archives. Every Sunday, the archives drop nice and early for you. And every Friday and Saturday, you can catch us live. You already know. Same Talking Junk Network station right here. Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, 
and YouTube. So tune in next week for the break room. Uh, next week, we actually have uh, a special guest. We have again back with us. We have Jacques Jones. Yes, Jack Jones. Yes. Be sure to tune in. Be That'll be fun, yo. It will, it be, will fun. be fun. She has she a, a sex shop called Sugar. Sugar. She's going to come and make a pun for sex toys. Ah, look, this is a pun right there, son. You just made a pun for the show. She going to come. <laughs> <laughs> this episode, if you come, we'll be sure to make your number one come. So make sure to tune in tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow. Just don't show no, us. Next week, the 12th. No, no, I mean, no, don't show us. We don't yeah. want to. No, nah, but if you're trying to pay for some beat picks, if you're trying to pay for beat picks or something, let us know. We were about that at the beginning of the show. Hey, if you go to the website, the way to contact us through email is there. And social media. DM us, email us, tune in every week. Content. There's a year and a half worth there. Going on two years doing this for you guys. So be sure to share, like, and subscribe everywhere to get these likes and these views up. That's the way we're able to bring this content to you guys. So remember, we have been you have been you. Thank you.